What's going on YouTube? Legions Gaming here with another Genshin Impact video. We're going to be covering the best three-star weapons in the game right now that you could be using that are better over some four stars that you probably don't have right now. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, we're going to start with bows. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. The bows are kind of underwhelming. There's not a lot of good bows. There's uh, Even the crafted ones are okay. The one in the battle pass is probably the better option the four, uh, out of four stars. But this video is not about four stars. It's about three stars. So, uh, the only one that I actually recommend out of the three-star bows is the increases damage against enemies affected by hydro or pyro by 24%. The raven bow. Now... This is that max refinement. The reason this is good, because you're mainly going to be using this on Fischl if you're using her correctly. She's the best four star in the game, pretty much. She's almost the best character in the game, DPS and support wise, because of her Raven. And uh, you're going to be in, f if you're pairing her up with Jinkui or Barbara, and you're getting Hydra on enemies, or with Chainling, and you're getting the pyro or d luke you're getting the pyro effect on them and you're switching off to official you're going to be doing extra damage to those enemies because they have the hydro pyro effect on them and you're usually switching to her after that effect is on them to get that overload or super conduct damage now that was pretty much it for bows <laughs> next we're going to hop on to catalyst catalyst have a couple more so the best one for catalyst in my opinion is going to be emerald orb reason being uh, when you cause a vaporize, electro charge, frozen, or a hydro infused swirl reaction, increases attack by 20%. So this fits on uh, Lisa, this fits on Barbara, this fits on um, Sucrose. You could use this on a lot of characters, and those are mainly support characters they put in there to get that that support attack up, or the hydro in, in, uh, elemental burst on them, or the the frozen reaction, etc. Anytime you get the reaction, you usually switch them back out to get a DPS unit in to do more damage. And when you do that, you're going to be increasing your attack by 20% for 12 seconds. Now, that's just at base form. Once you max enhance it, it goes up 5% every time. So that's another 5% for 5 levels, another 25%. You can get this up to another 45% attack buff. Or 12 seconds. Very, very good. Next one we're going to be looking at, which is especially good on Barbara. When switching characters, the new character taking the field has their attack increased by 24% for 10 seconds. This effect can only occur once every 20 seconds. Just for reference, I'm going to show you guys the one that I have. Uh, I have one maxed out. It's on my Barbara right now. Increases attack by 36% for 10 seconds for the character that you're switching into. Now, the reason I have this on Barbara is because her E ability heals whoever is out so once you use her e ability and switch to a different unit it actually heals the unit that has the musical little water swirl around them and heals them but if you're using this book you're also giving them a 36 percent attack increase for 10 seconds very very good book especially for barbara now one of the lower tier books uh for this section is going to be for catalyst anyway is going to be probably for lisa or, it, I mean, you shouldn't be using Lisa that much if you already have Fischl. Fischl's way better than Lisa. But if you have Mona, this also works on Mona. Mona or Lisa can use this book. The Magic Guide increases damage against enemies affected by Hydro or Electro by 12%. And, of course, that's that base form. That gets higher the higher you refine. And, of course, three stars are so easy to find because you get them so often. Now, we're going to go over to our pole arms. Uh, we have the Halberd. This is one of the best ones right here. Now... Unfortunately, there's not many characters that use pole arms, but that's going to change when Zhang Li comes out. I think there's only two characters right now that use pole arms, uh, Cheng Ling, and I think it's, um, I forgot her name, the Geo character from Li Wei. But anyway, there's only about two. I'm pretty sure there's only two. At this, at base, this one increases normal attack damage at 160%. So when you're just hitting with Cheng Ling, just using your regular attacks, you're going to be doing an additional 160% damage. If you go refine it, it goes up by 40% for every level. So 40% times 5, that's an extra 200%. You're going to be dealing almost 400% damage increase on a regular attack for every 10 seconds. It's very, very good. But in my opinion, the White Tassel is a little bit better than the Halberd because it pretty much does the same thing except you don't have the every 10 seconds. Um, you, it's just an increase on your normal attack damage. So 
when you max this out, you're getting an extra 6%. You're going to be getting almost 50% more damage on your normal attacks once you have this max refined. Uh, I think that's a little bit better than having to wait every 10 seconds to get a 300%, 360% attack buff. But 360% is a very, very big number. So if you're switching this character in and out, then I guess the 10 seconds will, you know, they won't seem as long. But in my opinion, I think the White Tassel is a little bit better. Now we're going over to the Claymores. Now, one of the best ones, in my opinion, is the Skyrider Greatsword. You can actually find this a lot in the world. Some of them are like embedded in the ground on certain side quests. It's really cool. Now, the ability it has is Courage, Unhit, Normal or Charge Attacks, Increase Attack by 10% for 6 seconds, Max Stacks 4 times, and it can occur every 0.5 seconds. So, obviously, every time you get a different stack, it resets the buff. Every 0.5 seconds, this can occur. This is very, very good sword. So, you're going to be increasing at Max Stacks. You're going to get an attack buff of 40% attack. So you can use your normal attacks to just build and get that 40% attack buff and then unleash your E or your Q after you get the attack buff. This is very good for Razor, even D Luke, if you don't have a better 4-star or 5-star weapon. Uh, don't, remember, I know there are some 4-stars and 5-stars that are better, but this is strictly speaking on 3-star weapons right now. Another very great Claymore is the Debate Club. The reason this is an amazing club is once you use an elemental skill or an elemental burst, your uh, normal or charge attacks on hit deal an additional 60% attack damage in a small area. So on a normal hit, after using an elemental skill, you're leaving an AOE area of effect for 15 seconds that damages every three seconds. Very, very good if you're using a pyro character or a uh, if it's very good on Razor as well. Then we got the Blood Tainted Greatsword. Bane of Fire and Thunder increases damage just like all the other weapons I showed you. They all have this kind of weapon. Increases damage against enemies affected by Pyro or Electro by 24%. Uh, now, this is at max. So, you're getting 24% extra damage against enemies that have Pyro Electro effect. Again, the Luke and Razor. Excellent, you know, characters for this. Considering they use Electro and Pyro. And you're going to be switching back and forth between them. Either be switching before, back and forth between a Fire character to them. Or an Electric character to D Luke. You know, you're always going to be switching back and forth to get that overload damage. Now we're going back into the one-handed sword. So we got the Sky Rider sword. Very, very great sword. Uh, using an elemental burst, that means causing an overload or a shatter or uh, superconduct, etc. You you know where I'm going with this. Using an elemental burst grants a 12% increase in attack and movement speed for 15 seconds. Very, very good for characters like Keking, for Jean. There's, uh, there's even the main character. It's very good for the main character. It's very, very good sword for a lot of characters in the game that use one-handed swords. This increases to 24% attack, so a very, very good sword. Now, while this sword's not one of the best ones, um, it is pretty good, especially because in this game, you're going to be switching characters in and out very frequently. So the effect can only occur once every 10, 11 seconds thing is not as important because you're going to be switching them out. And by the time you switch them back in, you know, the... the 11 seconds should be up at max refinement this weapon has a 50 percent 50 percent chance is very high 50 percent chance to deal an additional 400 percent attack damage to a single enemy so 400 percent of your attack is dealt as damage to this enemy and it occurs every 11 seconds once this is at max refinement that is while you have to you, you got the rng 50 percent and you got a time limit on how many times you can use it it's still a very very great three star weapon for dealing a lot of damage now last but not least for the three star weapons the last sword is going to be cool steel now just like the other weapon types that i've shown you they all have a three star weapon that does this bane of water and ice instead of hydro instead of uh fire and lightning this one is going to be water and ice Increases damage against enemies affected by Hydro or Cryo by 12%. And of course, at max, this is 24%. Very, very good on characters like uh, Zheng Kui or Keking. Very, very good weapon. Um, honestly, there's a lot of good three stars in this game that a lot of people are, you know, saying are underwhelming. Honestly, you got to... You gotta look at a lot of these abilities because a lot of these weapons are very very good especially once you get to max refinement and that's what makes them so good is that it's so easy to max refine them and get them to the highest possible passive stat that you can get 
you're going to be pulling, trying to pull for four stars and five stars and getting three stars like candy. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate you guys clicking on this video. Hit like if this video helped you find a new three-star weapon to use. Or if you enjoy the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell to be notified for future Genshin Impact videos and guides, pull videos, etc. You already know we're going to be covering this game a lot. I have not been able to put this game down. I'm already Adventure Rank 32. Going on 35 today. God, I can't wait to... Uh, to see where this game goes in the future with more regions and stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.